So, forts came back in a very, very big way to the channel. These cannons are unfortunately facing the wrong way. We don't need them. Now, before we start, and I show you what powerful weapons we're working with today, which you probably are well aware because you've seen the thumbnail and the title by now. I just like firing my cannons. We're going back to one of Rage Alert, one of his classic maps that we commissioned way back in the day. By the way, if you guys have any, any ideas for maps, Ow, they just detonated my cannon. That's bad. I guess we did miss, right? That's what happens when you miss. Okay, there we go. We need to destroy the enemy battleship before we upgrade to advanced weaponry. But yeah, forts came back in a big way. So many people are excited. So if you guys do want forts to continue, let me know. And if you have an idea for a map that we could commission from Rage Alert, let me know. All right, we're trying to hit this first little cannon area because... Let's just, to be quite frank, if they have less cannons, it's easier to kill them. You know what I mean? Hey, we did it. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, now we can get to, let's see, do we have any advanced technology we need to get? I mean, nothing new. But here's the thing. We have this thing called a topple beam. We have a magna beam. And we have this, which actually is unlabeled. But this is under, like, the powerful new toys area. And obviously, we need to build one line. Because that's what they call them, guys. I looked it up on Google, and uh, they call them mines. And they call it a mine. Because I feel like in the early game, mineral shortages are like one of the biggest things. So they probably can't rebuild a cannon anytime soon, but you know what? We're going to keep them, keep them honest. We're low on energy. We must construct additional oh power. God. Oh, I want to hit that flat gun. Hey, stop flacking me. We'll get our first little bits of technology here. But yeah, like... I, I miss forts, and I'm happy that so many people have been requesting it lately. Because it's just an absolute joy. It's like one of the few games that you can really have this, like, incredible oh. sandbox experience. I just wish that, like, Forts 2 came out, and they actually had, like, vehicles. Like, instead of this just resembling a battleship, it was actually a battleship on the water. Alright, so more technology is needed. We're going to put it in the aft of our ship where it's... Well, quite frankly, more protected. And then we're gonna have to do something that I do, like, in every forts game is I just build an energy tower. Where you just get a lot of back bracing, and then what we do is we get a lot of wind turbines. I know I call them windmills a lot. I mean, it's weird because I'm like, I'm not even Dutch. So it's like, why do I call them windmills? But that should really get our energy production up because look, even trying to fire this cannon, ooh. Okay, so that's where their core is. I mean, when you look at us, our core is right here. So we, we got to remember that. Don't hit this when we're doing weapons tests. Because we've got a lot of cool things to test out. Speaking of which... Let's actually turn these into back braces. Because what I want to do is turn these into gun ports. This is where our advanced weaponry is going to be tested. And this is going to be armor plating. All right, so technology, we still have a few more to do, especially upgrades so we can upgrade turbines as well as advanced weapons. Get a few more mines. <laughs> Device and weapon build speed increased by 300%. Look at that. Everything's popping out quickly. Technology's almost done. And now we can upgrade these turbines so they produce more power. Now, they're in a difficult place to get hit, especially if this is armored. You'd have to shoot through this or arc shots over. But we, we lost one of our battleship turrets, but they definitely lost theirs too. They've rebuilt, but they have no guns in them. And one of the things we really want to check out in this weapons mod pack is... I forgot what this is called. Hold on, let's go to Steam real quick. So it's called Powerful New Tools. It's an anti-munitions rifle. Then you have a topple beam, a Gauss rifle, and a Dakinator 9000. So this has to be the Dakinator, right? Oh my god, look at that. Why can't I put it there? Probably because that's metal, right? Alright, well we're gonna have to convert this to wood and see if we can't put it there now. Weapons test! Okay, that works. Now, since the enemy doesn't really have any guns, we'll go ahead and sell our cannon here. It might be a risk, but you know what? It's something we're willing to do. And we will upgrade our weapons by getting the munitions plant and the factory. All right. Now, like any game, the more resources you have, well, the more resources you have and the more things you can do with that. said resources. All right, that's only 30% efficient down here, so we're gonna have to increase the size 
of our energy turbine tower. All right, there we go. So now our battleship, the superstructure, has just gotten massive because of everything we've been doing. And now we want to increase mine storage. The dwarves are working hard in the mines. Now I will say, if a, if a big shell or rocket or missile were to find its way back down here and detonate, lots of stuff would chain reaction and explode. But you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine, because the enemy... There's no, like, drill mines or, like, drill bombs from above, like, Worms Armageddon-style airstrikes. Although that would be pretty sweet. Okay, so we have... What I believe is... That definitely looks like the Dakinator 9000, right? Okay. I wish to Dakinate you. Now... I'm gonna shoot... Here. Okay, it's a minigun. It's not very good against armor. But there's so many bullets being fired, you know, it kind of makes up for quality with quantity of shots. It was pretty cool. I wish the sound effect was like a little bit better. Maybe we were too far away. We got the fire beam, got the magna beam. Topple beam. All right, we're gonna put a topple beam dap, uh, deep down in the superstructure here. Wait a minute, shouldn't there be more? Topple beam, I don't see a Gauss rifle or an anti-munitions rifle in this. Maybe they're upgrades. No. Could it be an upgrade to something? No. Okay, well, topple beam time. <laughs> Not good against armor. What does this do? What, what, what did that do exactly? Oh, here it is. We have the flak, but this one is unnamed. Ah, this is the anti-munitions rifle. All right, this kind of looks like it would, would be a very armor-piercing type of a shot. I definitely like the minigun. Let's go ahead and fire it up at the superstructure. So you can imagine if it's all soft wood and there's lots of little, like, gun emplacements that you'd be able to do a lot of damage here. Anti-munitions. Let's open the doors. Anti-munitions rifle. I think it's an armor piercer and, like, a cannon destroyer. And you got this weird topple beam. I can't figure out how to use it. Yeah, it, these these weapons seem a little bit underwhelming, but don't worry, we have more. But don't worry, we've got the nuclear mod and we saved the best weapon for last. Now, I did turn on fast build, but not on limited resources. Yes. Give me that energy. I need the energy. Oh, perfect. Okay, we've taken out both cannons. Now we're going to spray the enemy deck. Nice! Alright, now that we've silenced them, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, combine our turrets so there's less wobble. Now, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot that we have to sell all of these guns on this battleship. They're, they're cool, but they're facing the wrong way, you know? We gotta build our energy conduit. Alright. We need more power. Whoa, we're mineral shortage? Again. We need more mines. A super mine. How many dwarves work this? Super mine. Oh yeah, some random sandbags to make us feel better. In case one of those random cannonballs or something lands back here. Yeah, because you gotta remember that like... These nuclear devices require a nuclear mine, a fission reactor, or a fission compressor. Preferably both. We're gonna need a lot of energy storage, I'm pretty sure. And nuclear power requires a lot of resources. It's just that simple. I like this. I like this one better than the one we did last time. It just feels appropriate that they're all on the back of the ship. Now, if an enemy ship rolled on us from behind, we would be dead. Okay, so this is like the coolest part, right? Is when you start bringing in the nuclear-powered technology. Now we're gonna save up for the nuclear physics lab. The enemy just hasn't rebuilt. They're like, you know what, dude? We're, we're, we're fine. We're just gonna chill. Go to sleep. Take a long nap until, you know, you kill us. Look at this. We may not have, like, proper radioactive protection, but don't worry. We got a bunch of bags of sands between the nuclear lab. <laughs> okay. Now for the good part. The nuclear uranium mine. Do we want two of them? What's cool about that is it increases metal production. And then we got the fission reactor. And then from there, let's go ahead and get this. Might as well get it. Oh, God. That thing's heavy. 
So like, look at this, man. You, you don't want to come to this part of the ship. Probably grow a third leg and not in a good way. Dang, man. Okay, so the thing we didn't show off was the neutron beam, or I don't think we showed the fusion plasma either. These things are super resource heavy. My God. All right, which one of these increases metal production? Well, let's get another one. We got a lot of metal production now. 183 those massively like oh my god so one of these produces 50 a regular mine produces four and an upgraded mine produces six are you oh kidding god. me wow okay that definitely helped us in the game here all right so we haven't tried fusion plasma and we haven't tried this just to save up for the 5,000 minerals is gonna take a while. Even with 183 production. Come on, do it. And we're almost there, and... Wait. Oh, and we need 50,000 energy? We don't even have that amount of storage. I guess we did greatly increase... There... Are we there yet? Oh my god. There we go, we're at 52,000. Oh my gosh, like in a real multiplayer competitive game, I doubt you'd ever have the time to get these weapons out. And there we go, here it is. So it looks like a regular gun, but it's a neutron beam. It emits a neutron beam that penetrates ordinary materials and explodes after a period of time, producing a large number of high energy something. Because we couldn't read the rest of it. Okay. So the key is... We don't want to destroy the enemy ship. Oh yeah, we've seen this one before, right? And I think it absolutely lights all this stuff on fire. Oh god. Wait, is it going to light the whole ship on fire? <gasps> oh my god. Can you imagine if that's your base? Okay. Wow. Now here it is. The big finale. The neutron beam. We tried out the atom missile, the atomic swarm, depleted uranium rockets, radiation rockets, and dirty bomb mortars. We tried all of those out in the last video, so if you missed that, make sure to check it out. Alright, neutron beam. Now it said it explodes after a period of time. Okay. We're gonna fire to midships. Oh. Oh, it's like one thing. Where's it going? Where's it gonna explode? Oh, looks like it's gonna explode midships. Or does it leave these things? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that is one of the coolest weapons I've ever seen. Okay, so what we wanna do is hit it again right here and have the core collapse due to structural failure. Oh my god, that was awesome. Now we gotta wait for it to recharge. Yeah, and the atom missile is like huge. We'll have one on here just because. But in order to fire it, you will want a sniper as your targeting computer. And I think we're reloaded with that. Okay, good. Yeah, look at that. They're rebuilding their ship in a futile effort. Bro, you ain't nuclear powered. There's some like third world navy and I'm like from outer space, dude. <laughs> I want a howitzer firing a dirty bomb similar to the one that's in... Ooh, a mini laser interceptor. Stops all kinds of bullets and missiles. Let's let's build one of these. Oh, it looks like this little compact, cute little laser. All right. Fire. So, say their missiles are coming. Oh, okay. It's, it's similar to the laser, but it's used to intercept missiles, I think. I mean, that is what it says it was for. Neutron beam, prepare to fire. Okay, you know what we need to do. When things build super fast, you just build another one that's already ready to fire. It'd actually be easier to delete it. Okay, so firing this thing costs 36,000 energy. 36,000 energy. We need more energy. I want all of your energy. Just get it together and put it in a bag. And I need it to equal 36,000 of them. All right, we should be good. So now what we want to do is fire under the ship. 
and hopefully it stops like right here. This is where I'm hoping. Stop right here. Stop right here. Oh, that was pretty close. But it's gonna it's gonna cause like this chain reaction, right? Yeah, the core's gonna collapse. Boom! Okay. The absolute coolest weapon I've ever seen in forts. Hold on. We're getting showered by radioactive particulates. Like, look at this. We, we suffered damage over here, and I saw some, like, shrapnel and stuff. Oh my god, that's awesome. Look, even this dude's laptop. So, if you guys do want to see more forts, pull the trigger on the like button. Suggest some maps that we could have commissioned, and maybe some mods if you'd like to see some crazy weapons. But these are all the mods that we used in this one. Some of them are default in-game. Others are on the Steam Workshop, like the nuclear mod. So... Thanks for watching. Pull the trigger like button if you do want to see more, and I will see you in the next one.